The other big news out of D.C. yesterday was that the longest-serving party leader in Senate history, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, announced it's time for him to go. <laughs> Don't hold back. Don't hold back. I should say it <laughs> the, the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> He's stepping down. <laughs> Take a look. I turned 82 last week. <clears throat> The end of my contributions are closer than I'd prefer. One of life's most underappreciated talents is to know when it's time to move on to life's next chapter. So I stand before you today, Mr. President, and my colleagues to say this will be my last term as Republican leader of the Senate. I'm no longer the young man sitting in the back hoping colleagues would remember my name. It's time for the next generation of leadership. So, President Biden said he often disagreed with McConnell, but that he will miss him. So the question at this table <laughs> is, will you? No. I, I, will, I, I will miss him like I miss bird flu. Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. that clear enough? No. No. I, I, I don't really feel that. I, I, I think, you know, I think most people understand that Mitch McConnell is singularly <laughs> responsible for the composition of, of the Supreme Court. Of the Court. court. That's yeah. the current composition of the Supreme yeah. Court. I think most people understand <laughs> that in a game of unfair political gamesmanship, whatever you want to call it, he denied President Obama the right to seat Merrick yeah. Garland. Mm -hmm. yeah. He stole a Supreme Court seat. And then do the next part. And then he pushes through someone. The handmaiden. A, a, well, he pushed through Gorsuch. Yeah, he's pushed, and then he, he pushed also through pushed the last through three. Amy. Amy. And Amy. Yeah. Um, and Kavanaugh. And yeah. Kavanaugh. And, and so I mean... when you look at the state of this country <laughs> and women's reproductive health rights and the way uh, immigrants uh, and undocumented people are being treated. Um, just all the things. I don't know that he should be proud of his legacy. So and I think it was time for him to go. Mm -hmm. the, the interesting thing about Mitch McConnell is in the, the era of the GOP moving toward Donald Trump, he actually managed to stick it out. He outlived three House speakers, John Boehner, Paul Ryan, and Kevin McCarthy, who were kind of taken out by the MAGA crowd. Um, but he was always a bit of a villain in that world. And it's interesting to me because the biggest things that Donald Trump brags about accomplishing, to your point, would not have happened with Mitch McConnell, whether it's tax cuts and without, jobs. Without, without, US, without him. Without, without him, him. Yeah, yes. Right. USMCA and the makeup of yeah. the Supreme Court and yeah. the judiciary yeah. writ large. Um, my caution would be this. Maybe trust the enemy you know. Who you are going to get in Mitch McConnell's place will be more extreme. They will not support aid to Ukraine, most likely. And it is somebody that Biden, I thought it was a very thoughtful statement, who was willing to work with the White House at times. Other times not. I will give you that. And I, my final thing to Mitch McConnell, his low point was when he voted against the second impeachment. It came within 10 votes. Yes. He should have had he other Republicans would have followed, and he wouldn't be in the position he was today. But I'm hoping that by stepping down, he does not go forward and endorse. So that history also. will not be kind I to forgot Mitch he did that, too. <laughs> but he hasn't endorsed Trump yet, and I would really love... What was he crying about? about was he touched by his own words well, or what? Why not in this moment just say what you truly know? They haven't spoken in three years. This would be a moment for McConnell to say this is not the right direction for our country. I'm not supporting yeah. Donald Trump. He attacked my wife. He took. Yeah. He's taking I our mean, country the, the wrong direction. Just the, just the fact that you did not punch him out <laughs> for messing with your wife. Mm -hmm. Said very racist things. It was that. an incredibly racist thing to say, and you know, it sounded like you were okay with it because you didn't you didn't say what did you say about my wife? What? Oh <laughs> well. Power. Power. <laughs> power. You, you know, know. You know what we're talking about here. Is the what we're talking about all morning here is the lack of checks and balances that we have relied on in this country since it was dis, since, since, since it was the, you know Thomas Jefferson was around and George Washington. Well, we don't yeah. have that anymore. We have people who have their own agenda who are not, not interested in preserving the democracy that we have enjoyed all this time. Well, they, it's no checks and balances anymore. This is not what it's supposed to be like. No, it's people not supposed have to, to be, be like that. Pay attention to this and make sure that she says every day. Uh, make sure you vote. Yeah. 
Because, because that's all. That is. If they let you, and if it. they don't, Jeremy, if there's not. A, well, well, the well, people like Warren right. Bobert and that other one, Marjorie Taylor Greene, are gerrymandered. That's why yes, they keep that's their jobs. Yes. There. But the you know what? Is rigged. That the system can be rigged, may be rigged, but you can fight it. Mm -hmm. You fight must. it. You got to fight. Because if you're not well, going to fight no it, choice but to do that. Well, yeah, there is a choice. People yeah. can say it's too much for me. Start speaking. You know, well, start. You have need to, to think about listen, that electoral college. Local, local, local. <laughs> Who you put in locally is everything. Well, it's yeah. everything. Yeah. You know. And listen, this is a country we go up, we go down, we go sideways. When I was talking earlier about you know, the makeup of what the Supreme Court used to be and what the makeup of Congress and the Senate used to be. Yeah. yeah. You know, we are slip sliding into these things again, into some of these things which are not good for us as just right. Americans. It's just not good for us uh, as Americans if we are not paying attention to what's going on. Right. And this is, this is never before have we <laughs> been on this kind of precipice no. With everyone. See, it used to be yeah. just yeah. us. Yeah. And then just women and then just folks. Now it's all of yeah. us. It's everyone. Let's it's sing. everybody. Let's sing. Slip, slide in away.